Now we open with the salutation and thanksgiving that Paul gives us here in the first nine verses. And by the way, this is a very wonderful section that we're getting in here. Now, let me begin. And if you have your Bible, I hope you'll follow along. I'm reading now verse 1, chapter 1 of 1 Corinthians. Paul called to be an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God and Sosthenes, our brother. Now, will you notice that the little verb to be is in italics. That means it's not in the original. And it should be Paul called an apostle. That means this is the kind of an apostle he is, a called apostle. God called him. The Lord Jesus Christ waylaid him on the Damascus road. The Spirit of God taught him off yonder in the desert of Arabia. He is a called apostle, and this is the kind of an apostle that he is. And we'll see that again in Galatians. And he's an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God. And the will of God is what made him an apostle. That is the important thing, and it's wonderful today to be able to say, I'm where I am, and I'm doing what I'm doing because of the will of God. Is that your situation today? If you can say that, I don't need to add, you're a very happy, joyful Christian. And you're not only a happy, joyful Christian, but you're one that is well-oriented into life. You have no frustrations. Oh, you have these little things that come up. But down deep underneath, there is that tremendous satisfaction. Paul could say here, he's an apostle of Jesus Christ through the will of God, and Sosthenes, our brother, Sosthenes, was with him, and he was sending the message. Apparently, he brought the message from the church, and now he's going to take it back, and he's the one joining with Paul in this. Now, it's under the church of God, which is at Corinth. The important thing to note, it's the church of God. Here is its call, because he is the one, that is the architect, under the church of God, which is at Corinth, to them that are sanctified in Christ Jesus. Now, the church is at Corinth, but it's in Christ Jesus. And the address is not important, but the person of Christ is all important. What does it mean to be a Christian? It means to be in Christ, as we've stated before. And whether you're at Los Angeles or at Corinth, or at Ephesus, or at New York City. That is incidental. The important thing, are you in Christ Jesus? Now he speaks here, sanctified in Christ Jesus. Now, sanctification is used in several different ways, as we saw in Romans. There is positional sanctification. That's the position we have in Christ. And when sanctification is joined to God the Father or God the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, it's generally positional. But when it's connected with the Holy Spirit, then that is practical sanctification. We will find a little later on in this epistle that Christ has been made unto us. Sanctification along with wisdom and righteousness and redemption. He is our sanctification. You see, you're not going to heaven, friends, until you're perfect. And I'm not either. And you want to know something, I'm not perfect. Not even near it. Fact of the matter is, if you knew me like I know myself, you'd turn the radio off. But wait a minute, don't turn it off. Because if I knew you like you know yourself, I wouldn't speak to you. So let's just stay connected here if you don't mind. And sanctification is a position we have in Christ. And if you've trusted him, he's been made over to you, your sanctification, and you're as saved right now as you'll be a million years from today because you're saved in Christ and you can't add anything to that. But 
there is a practical sanctification, and that is something that varies for some. These Corinthians, they don't sound like sanctified saints, but they are because they're sanctified in Christ Jesus. But the work of the Holy Spirit wasn't very much in evidence in their lives. Now they're called not to be saints, because again, to be here, the verb is in italics. They're called saints. Now, just as Paul is a called apostle, we're called saints. That's our name. You do not become a saint by what you do. You become a saint because of your position in Christ. And the word saint actually means set aside to God. Every Christian should be set aside to God. For instance, those old beat-up pans and vessels in the tabernacle later in the temple, they were called holy vessels. Holy? Yes. They were for the use of God. And a child of God is a saint, or holy, on what basis? Well, he's for the use of God. That is, we ought to be for the use of God. But this is a position that we have. We are called saints. And you're not a saint by what you do. Your position in Christ, and mankind's divided up between the saints and the ain'ts. And if you ain't in Christ, you're an ain't. If you're in Christ, they're a saint because of your position. Now, we're told here that call saints with all that in every place call upon the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, both theirs and ours. And I could change this around just a little and say, with all that in every place, both theirs and ours, who call upon the name of Jesus Christ.